let's create a funnel from start to finish, including upsells, downsells, and order bumps. Are you ready? We are going to do this. So to accomplish this, we are going to be using Thrivecart, okay? So I've got five Thrivecart Pro, and we're just going to create a dummy funnel here. I'm just going to make all the information up, but then you'll know the process for what we are trying to do, okay? So first things first, you would think that you want to just come in here and press create product. But what we're going to do first is we're actually going to create the upsells and downsells, okay? So first off, let's create the upsell. So here we're going to do is going to press create an upsell. It's going to be digital and we're going to press create new upsell. So let's give this upsell a name. So I'm going to just call this. Let's think what can the upsell be. Um, VIP strategy day. There we go. It's going to be VIP strategy day. The label, that is just so that it identifies it to you. So I might just put VIP. Oh, I can't misspell today. Oh my goodness. It's VIP strategy day, like that. And then we're going to press next. And then you can decide what is the option for this upsell. So we're going to say, okay, it's a one-time fee. Um, we could limit it if we want to a certain amount of people. So we might say, you know, it's limited to five and then what happens after. So you could reset it or not and things like that. So just to kind of show you what that is, let's just say we're going to set this to five. And then we're going to say reset the countdown. So once five are sold, it will reset this countdown. But this doesn't make sense when we see it. So we're going to set five. I want to allow one person at a time, or is it multiples? It's just going to be one. And then we will set a price on this, okay? So let's just say this is going to be 997, okay? 997, no trial period, and then press next. If you want to add any tracking code on here, so you can press the tick and add your tracking code, but we're not going to do this in this example. And if you want to sort your affiliates out, again, we're going to do it in this example, but you do that. Next up is the fulfillment. So customize the title to appear above the download link when a customer purchases this and customize the text in the download link or leave it as it is, okay? So the purpose of this video, because I don't want to keep you here for ages, we're going to keep this as it is and press next. There we go. Happy days. Next up, we can set any rules up. So again, not really going to go too much into it, but things that you would do is for me, if the upsell was purchased, I would add them to a list and maybe a tag in active campaign, for instance. If it's declined, you might want to put them in like a funnel in your email marketing system where they would get some emails still selling them that upsell after. Um, so, you know, you can use these actions as you wish. So me personally, if the upsell was bought, I'd want it to do something. And if the purchase was declined, I potentially would want them to get an email saying, oh, I'm really sorry that you didn't go for this. You know, if you do change your mind, you've got X amount of days to do so. Or if you want to book a call to chat, et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you'd work that. And then we're going to say save my upsell. So you can see uh, your upsell can now be attached to any of your products sales funnels. Okay, this is why you need to create these first because otherwise you can't attach them. So just going to press continue. And we can see here as well, you can attach a little image. Um, I'm just going to literally attach an image that I've got downloaded um, just so you can see what that looks like and where things appear and things like that. So we've got that. Next up, we're going to go to the downsell. So we're going to press create downsell. And again, it's a pretty similar process to what we've just done. So the downsell for this, it could be a um, one year's access to tech support hub. Okay, so maybe we'll sell that. Um, then I'm going to press next and then pricing. So it's going to be a one time fee. They can have one year's access and um, it would normally be 470 so I can say you know you can have 370 pound you can have the full access to the text pop again you know about the tracking current affiliates we're not going to go through that we're not going to customize the text currently and again behavior is pretty simple if it's declined or purchased so obviously if it's purchased I need something to be happening in active campaign and then my active campaign will end up sending it through to Zapier to add them to whatever they need adding to um, then we're going to press save my downsell and after days you can see now it's in my product list and we can press continue again we're just going to chuck something on here um i don't know let's just um have i got some random images we can use uh, i have not downloaded any images for ages as you can tell we'll just add this one of the full chat um there we go um Happy days. So if you do press preview, you can see preview your downsell on something. So let's just say 
we're going to preview it on website uh, management yeah press preview and then what it will do it will bring it up to what that would kind of look like on the downsell kind of thing so you can see it show this basically on the downsell because we've not customized how this funnel looks right we're going to press close so we've got our downsell got our upsell now we're going to create the actual product so for the purpose of this what we're going to do is i'm just going to copy um something that i have so let's just say i'm going to copy my um email deliverability maybe yeah we'll copy our no we'll copy wondrous websites we'll copy that so copy wondrous websites clone this product there we go so you can see wondrous website copy two so this is basically what you would do is set up a product on here which i've got a previous video for and you get that set up basically by following it through here and then what we're going to do now is actually create the funnel so if we press create funnel now this is where we're going to customize it so if we press ok we're now in the funnel editor so this is the cart page so you if you create your product you would have come through and you would have created your page where people will buy whatever that product is so this is our website service that we offer um, so you can see people can pay 1200 currently get their website built happy days i don't really need to change anything on this page at all but then you've got your success page so when they've done this they would get redirected to the success page but what we're going to do instead is we're going to say add a funnel item and we're going to add a upsell so we're going to pick the vip strategy day press next and we're going to design a page with five car or you could use a custom page I would always recommend just to use Thrivecart so it all stays in one. We're going to press next. And here you can tick if you want to replace the fulfillment. So we could say if they book this VIP strategy date, it replaces the website, for instance. But we don't need that in that case. And we're going to just press add this upsell. So now what you can see is cart page and then now there's a VIP strategy day. So what you would do is you would customize this page which I'm not here to teach how to customize it because I've got other videos on that. But we would basically customize this checkout here so that then obviously it tells them about the upsell. And then at the bottom, you can see here, we've got this where they can choose to add to their order or they can choose, no thanks, please do not add this offer to my purchase. So these are the different options that they can then go through. So we're just going to press next. Not next, sorry. We're going to add a funnel item again. So if we go to a funnel item, now that we've got the upsell, we can say, let's do a downsell. So this is going to be the one year access to Tech Support Hub. And it relates to the VIP strategy day upsell. And then again, we will design the page out. It's not going to change the previous purchase. And we'll add this downsell. Happy days. So again, we will come in and we design this out, the downsell. And you can see here we've got add to order or decline so it's handy, handy to have videos it does improve the conversion but now you can see how this is looking so someone comes to the cart page they buy the website on the cart page and then it directs them straight to the vip strategy day and it says you know this header might say something like wait um stop i have a one-time special offer just for you you know you might pop something on there like that and then you can see here that obviously it's asking them um, what they want to do things like that um, you can put different things in here so you can see the offer boxes if you want to change what that looks like um, there's countdown timers if you want to pop a countdown timer on there like that for instance and then you can customize this countdown timer to what you want it to look like and things. There's lots of different things you can add in these element wise to be able to pop that in. So happy days. So we've got that in there. And then after VIP strategy day, if they say yes, then it just texts them to the success page. But if they say no, then instead it'll go, sorry to hear that. Why not join the text port hub instead? You know, that's what this page aim is for. And then at the end of all this, this is when it's going to go to the success page. So the success page here, it'll tell them you're going to shortly receive an email with further details and how to book your initial call to discuss your new website and all the other stuff that they would have purchased will also appear here. Now, the one thing that's missing from this is a order bump. So you can see on the cart page here, if we go back, let's scroll to the bottom, there is no order bump. 
So there's no order bump on here, it's just the flat out buy-in. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do now if you've not got one already. So we're just going to press next and that's literally just going to take us through this whole funnel. Next, next, next. Complete. Happy days. And then you're going to press next again. And you can add all your trackings and things in. Save and get URL. There it is. So now obviously if someone went to this checkout, everything would be set up as we have just set it up for them. But what if we want the order bump? So to do that, you don't edit the funnel, you edit the original product. So if I press edit on here, when you would have gone through and set up your product, there's this little box here called bump. So you will just tick this and press confirm and you put your order bump in. So it could be fresh fast track service and that could be an additional 500 pound and you can choose here if the customer must add it on or they must remove it. And then if I just press next, what's going to happen now is I need to go to the checkout page and launch the editor because now I need to edit how this order bump is going to look on the cart page. So just wait for this to load a second. Here we go. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see on here now that we've got this bit here, add to cart. Can you see it? So this is the bit that we need to now customize. So if I click into it, I can press show image. So we might show an image of the special offer. So we're just going to pick something. I don't know. We'll just pick that. I'm just picking anything these days just to show you. So you could have a little image in there. And then you'd basically customize the text. So it could be special offer. And then we might want to put a text box in here. So if I just go to elements and grab a heading, you can drag that in there. So I can drag an heading in here. Get your website within one month, you know, and then I might add another element in and add a text box in. And then this text box will have all the information. And then obviously on here, that would show the price of what the order bump is. So it would show the price. So if I just press next and complete, it's going to take me through all the pages again because we've created a funnel. So just going to keep pressing next so we get to the end. Happy days. So save and get URL. So just always make sure you save it. The amount of people who forget to save it. Um, let's go and refresh this. Scroll to the bottom. You'll now see it's adding £500. Get your website within one month and they can add that to their order. And that's basically the funnel then. So now we've created a full funnel. We've got the main product. We have an order bump, we have an upsell, and we have a downsell. And you just saw how easy that was. The hardest part is setting up the main product. And after that, everything else is super, super duper simple. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave us a comment and subscribe so that we can create more videos like this and let us know what videos you want to see. What help is it that you're needing right now with your business? And we will make sure that we teach you. Or why not join us inside the Tech Support Hub where you'll get more information in regards to anything you need. We've got tons of videos in there, tons of courses. You get a weekly call with me every single week to pop on and be like, oh, how do I do this? And all of the other things that you get with it as well. So feel free to go check that out as well. Just head over to itmoon.co.uk and you will find it over there. So take care, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day.